Alright guys, welcome back into some more Life is Strange True Colors. I literally cannot stop playing this game. I cannot stop. It is so addicting. It's such a good game. And I don't even have to play this game right now. Like, I literally recorded enough episodes to last forever, but I just want to keep playing the game. So, I'm going to keep playing the game and keep recording episodes. So, last time we left off, uh, we got up here to this the loft again after um, working our shift and getting the uh, information we needed from Diane. We got back up to the loft here and we are supposed to get a hat I believe and something else uh, from oh the guitar so that we can go down and be step in them but you know you know me you gotta look around first. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze it's um it's a unique expression of gratitude. Very unique. <laughs> I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. All right, so we're going to look around here a bit and then we'll get back into it. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? And I'm going to try. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73. And I'm not stopping. The sword of dust and daylight. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try to look at everything real quick, though, so that we don't have what happened yesterday happen. Or not yesterday. Well, yesterday for me, but, you know, last episode for you guys. Um, I didn't get to I didn't get to finish my shift, really. I had one more thing to clean up. I don't know if it made a difference or not. It better not. But I did find out that you can actually um, go back to different parts of the game to collect the trophies and so far I've collected them all so I don't think I've missed anything but I'm just gonna keep uh, keep looking around at everything just don't want to miss anything Steph bought this for me as a gag but I kind of developed a taste for it interesting I don't even know if I'm doing this right but it felt like I had to do something so I'm gonna guess that the the, the hat is in the chest there Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. So I'm just definitely not going to check that yet. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. Yeah, they, de they definitely are multiplying because they're everywhere now. Ooh, we have a to-do list. We're one step closer now. Totally not corporate sabotage to-do list. All right, it's a little tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna read it here. Figure out Diane's deal. Maybe read her. Alex working on it. Uh, check public records for Typhon's accident report. Ryan's supposed to do that. He did that. Legal ways to file a complaint with Typhon Corporate. Ryan did that, I guess. Turns out corporate law is complicated. Contact private investigator. Steph was supposed to do that. All three dudes gave a crazy high price. Pass. Research other Typhon sites in the US abroad. Ryan. Spy on miners in the Black Lantern, Alex. Do you want me to get fired? No. Use the dark web to find elite hacker, Steph. Couldn't figure out the dark web. Take a break and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Done and done. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Um, done, done, and loved it. Ah, <laughs> I needed to scroll down. <laughs> Request copy of completed police report from Ryan. How does Haven feel about Typhon? Radio post, Steph. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff that we gotta get done. We gotta get to work on that stuff. Steph, I will murder you. Alex, so Steph told me you'd be willing to play at our next open mic night. I wager it'd really help loosen folks up and break the ice. Can you make it? Oh Lord. Steph is really trying to get on our bad side right now. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Alex, thanks for the foosball game. I mean it. Also, only eat one of these at a time. Well, she didn't take the advice because as we know from the text messages, <laughs> she didn't do that. Ooh, okay, we got a bunch of stuff here. Brianna Lilac? Of course I'm investing all my tips into expanding my record collection. Sugar Pie Riot. Steph was right. These chicks rock. You'll love them, I promise. And then we have Kings of Leon. Every time I listen to this record, 
It takes me right back to that moment with Gabe. Maybe I should put something on. So we should probably put something on. Let's put on something to not listen to. Sounds great, right? Why not? All right, so this isn't really going to matter too much because obviously it's not going to play, but we will get to hear something from Alex. Um, and I think this could be an achievement or something, so I will definitely do it. Just Sometimes to kind of see. It's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Stefan Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place, and I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Interesting. It's always very nice to hear her thoughts on the situation and how she's feeling and dealing with things. So I'm guessing you can, you can do that with all of them. Um, I don't know if it will matter, but I guess let's put another one on and see. We'll put on the one that Steph recommended. Uh, because we technically have already heard, quote unquote, <laughs> the uh, Kings of Leon one, and she said it reminds her of Gabe, so, you know, might be pretty sad for her. See if she says anything different, though, with this one. Or Sometimes she, it's okay. hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. Okay, so she says the same exact thing, so we're not gonna sit here and just keep listening to all of them. But I did wanna check just to make sure, and it is going to, I guess, not keep playing? Okay. So we have the guitar there we can get, of course. We need to look at everything else. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Ooh, I love the side quest. I will find that key. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. A day in the kingdom of Cowns? Cowns? I'm not sure how to say that. Welcome travelers. Today, Thanor the Monster Slayer visits the troubled Stonehorn, capital city of Cowns. Can he dispatch the ravenous monster horde and save the kingdom? All right, so this is Basics of the LARP. A LARP, a live action roleplay, is a game in which players portray their characters through physical action using costumes and props to add to the fun. Uh, there's safety rules, of course. We're here to have fun. Don't hit too hard. Go for arms, legs, torso, back, sides, front. Avoid hands, feet, neck, head. Act stuff out. If you get hit, perform a grunt or an injury. Thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot, Steph. So we have my character, Alwyn, who is a half-elf bard, level 1 with 10 health, po health points. Uh, unter untuned Cord is an, an attack I have, and it does 1 damage. Distortion Field, um, 1 sound damage over the next 2 turns, and Stirring Him doubles Thanor's next attack. So I think we read through this as well because we wrote down the backstory. Um, harrowing attack on the Songvari Amphitheater, Alwyn the Bard has been a constant companion to Thanor the Monster Slayer. The two have endured many trials and have recently found themselves wearing or answering a call for heroes in the city of Stonehorn. Alright, so then we have Thanor here, who I'm guessing would be Ethan. Uh, so he has a stab attack, which does two damage, and a burning blade, which does one damage and one fire damage over the next two turns. And then he has a magic shield of courage, protects Thanor from his next attack. I'm not going to go ahead and read through all of these, um, because you can obviously pause them and read through it if you'd like to. Uh, but we have the Stonehorn capital city here. This is the map, apparently. So there's everything that we'll probably be looking at whenever we get going into our LARPing session. 
Um, got Shushu here. A dire rat joined your party. Shushu's here to help us out. And we also have the drawer as well. We can change again, and I'm all about that because we have new clothes. So we have this one, this one. Ooh, I like that one with the dark pants. The mustache? Is that mustache? No, I was going to say the mustache shirt, but it's whales. Uh, this dark black one. Oh, cats again. Gotta love them. And then the rocket ship. Ooh, I actually like this rocket ship one in the red. I think she looks really good in the red. I totally would pick the cat one any day of the week. <laughs> but I'll go with the red because I know you guys are probably like, use some different ones. Don't keep doing the same ones over and over. You already done cats. <laughs> I would have done cats in the second one too, but I stopped that too. So I'll go a little bit out of my comfort zone for this. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. Oh, great. She wrecked the bike, of course. We have Mine Haunt here again. Um, nothing new over here. Not seeing a key anywhere. A note here. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Alex, I appreciate your offer to start paying rent. Take a few months to fill your piggy bank first, and then we can talk. Well, at least she wants to try to do it. That's, that's definitely something. Let's go upstairs before we continue on because I still want to see if we can find that key for the drawer. And it could be possibly up here, who knows. If it's open to me, I'm going to use it and I'm going to see what we can do with it. Um, so let's go up here and see what we can find. I'm guessing there, things are different up here because they're showing us different different looks around the place. Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. Okay, so I guess we can clean up. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. Okay. So we can clean up things up here maybe? Possibly? Possibly. Not for sure, but I will just check things out. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. Uh, we've still got the putting green here. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Maybe. Might be a good gift. Okay, why was it showing all that stuff? To look at. Oh, what do we got? Ugh, you need a lot of help, don't you? Oh, well, yes. Well, we will do that. We will weed these plants here. Of course. We need to. Looks like they need to be uh, tended to. Ugh, not much better. Well, at least you tried. That's all that matters. All right, so what else we got over here? Nothing, nothing. We got some weeds we can pull here. Maybe I can clean you up a bit. See, this is all the stuff that you could do, you know, if you ventured around and looked around. A lot of people like to play the game one way, and that's fine. Play it any way you want, but I personally love it like this. Well, it's better than nothing. This slow stuff is definitely my jam. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. <laughs> he just wants to, lo to live here. Just let him be. Okay, so we did the weeds. Um, I'm guessing nothing else. Still love looking at this view though. Really pretty. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything up here like a key or anything. So unfortunately, I guess looking up here didn't help, but you know what? We pulled some weeds and that seemed like it was important. So I guess it's important. <laughs> Okay, so I think the one thing we need to do is we need to open that chest up because we need to get a hat. We said we need a hat and the guitar, so I'm assuming we'll get to choose our hat as well, which I'm super happy about. Once again, I am forgetting that I can walk faster. Um, I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. We need to try to find that key somewhere. 
I have no clue where it could be other than this chest here, so just gonna take a look around one more time and make sure I'm not missing nothing. All right. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way to find out. Open this chest up here, see what we got. Huh. There it is. All right, so we've got a robot. Oh, there's the key. I think I know where you go. I'm gonna take that. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Other boa? Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. Uh-uh. <laughs> Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. A secret beer. Interesting. Okay. And then there is the hat. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Okay, I'm glad I got this outfit. We're totally matching right now. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. No better time than right now. So this must be his wallet. You can take the kid out of juvie. His lockpicking kit. Yes, we knew about that. His keys, of course. Oh. You're hot. Hurry up and finish your shift. <laughs> Love, Char. Cute. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Don't give up. Very, very true. Never know when you'll need a light. Keep it with you, Alex. It's important. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. No, we're not. We will find out what's going on with Typhon. We will find out. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Okay, I see the feather. Literally right there. But I found the key! So I am going to open this drawer. See what's inside. Oh, I love our outfit now. I'm so glad I picked the red because the hat matches perfectly! What is this? This must have been Gabe's. Make things right list. Find Alex, which he did. Find owner of stolen Chevy. Guess he did that too. Reimburse Jed for the free rent. He did that. Return Ernesto's Walkman. He did that. Donate to Lawrence Detention Center. Guess he never got around to that. Apologize to Vic. Did that. New... <laughs> A new thing for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Really apologize to Katya this time. Apologize to Ira and tell him you like his remixes. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Apologize to Oscar. Pay Mr. Wallach, Mr. Wallback for his for the Chevy. So I guess he found who it went to and then he ended up selling it to him, but he wanted to pay him back anyway. I give it to him for free. Apologize to that guy from the mall. Write thank you letter to Lenny. Ma mail check to Mrs. Franks for the broken window. She moved to the Mar to Maryland. Track her down. Write to Miss Henry at Buckman, H Buckman High and tell her she was right and forgive Dad. Wow. Like he never got around to that one. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? All right. So, finally found out what was in that drawer. That drawer. A to-do list from Gabe. This feather separates the buskers from the bards. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to change our outfit to match with our hat, but still. I'm glad I changed. Yellow probably would have clashed. Okay. Just need to grab my guitar now. Ooh, and it looks even better with the feather on it. My weapon of choice. Now let's get the guitar and get on out of here.
We spent 20 minutes in this place. <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing, but I loved every Alex second of it. the Bard, ready to serve. Okay. Time to head out. <laughs> Time to go. So I guess we texted Steph. Um... I cannot remember where we left off. Mm. You free tonight, Ryan and I are meeting up and want to fill you in on some of the digging we're doing. Yep, okay, we read that. I love to help. Yo, sup. What do you think about bringing that guitar over to the record store and jamming a bit, like in front of other living human beings? We read that. Just this living and being, haven't played in front of people in recent memory. I may be particular about a lot of things. I'm very judgment for dawn. Okay, let's go for it. Anytime tonight, I'm here. I think I need another jam session tonight. Okay, I say yay, yeah. All right, by the way, you're genuinely great. You have a gorgeous voice. Thank you. Way too kind and might be a lie. Nah, okay, SOS. Not sure LARP is happening. Ethan's not into it. Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours too. Ugh. Any ideas? Let me try talking to him. Be right there. Hero. Okay. So she obviously sent a message to let us know that apparently Ethan's not into it. Um, I heard it go off, but I don't think anything happened. I guess that was just a text message we got. Okay. So we are ready to go. Let's head on out in our snazzy outfit with our guitar. Looking good. I do say so myself. And there is Ethan. I guess we needed to talk to him anyway. Still seems a bit upset. Cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Ugh. Do I want to bring up Gabe right now? I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> How about do it for me? I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. Okay, well then don't pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Did you think we weren't going to help? We're going to be there. Ethan, of course we're going to help you. Is that Jed? Thanor, the monster slayer. 
Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please tell me of your exploits. This is amazing. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh. Sure. Um, uh, ogres? A horde of ogres. That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alwyn, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But this hope, an ancient prophecy, describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. We got this. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. This is honestly the best thing ever. <laughs> Should we start with the main road? Okay. So glad Jed is into it as well. Some jewels. Oh, so cool. Uh, reminder, we are open. We know a lot of you have floral needs in the ramp up to the spring festival. So despite the, e the event on, May Street, on Main Street, we'll be maintaining business hours until 5 p.m. today. Attention monster hunters. This appears to be the result of some sort of extra dimensional rift opening up and spilling another universe's florist into our world the magpie emporium will investigate i'm glad you're having fun honey the magpie emporium arrived in the night transforming an empty storefront into a fully stocked magic supply shop mortal residents are encouraged to come by and peruse our wares then let's do it so you're seriously all in don't you recognize me oh yeah of course um it's been a long time since Carneris. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? Except for the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have our character sheet, which we can look at um, by pressing C here. And we have Thanor's as well. And the map. But first, we need to assess King Tab the Boar. Gotta say, Jed's king voice is pretty convincing. Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Thanks, Jed. Please, find the three jewels. Time is of the essence. Right. We're on it. Honestly? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. We're just in our own little world here, having a, having a fun LARP session. How Looking for jewels. Look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. Yeah, we, we don't know where to go, but you know what? We're just going to look around everywhere because you never know when there might be something to click on. And uh, I'm here for it. <laughs> so I'm going to look around everywhere. All right, so let's go back behind here, I guess, and see what's going on back here. We got uh, Fool Willer there. We got the park over here. Some swings, of course, of course. A nice view, as always. I what mean, do you think the on. jewels are for? Oh, uh, a magic ritual? Maybe some kind of magic ritual that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? I guess we'll find out. Okay, cool. Oh, can we go down here? Ooh. Definitely haven't been down here yet. Would love to see what's down here. Is this what a real quest feels like? The jewels could be anywhere. Of course, but you know, we just want to look around everywhere, Alex. That's what we do here. We look around everywhere and we enjoy ourselves. I don't know why they're leaving this all open, apparently for some reason. 
but I'm guessing we're not supposed to go this way. Oh, Ethan's following us. Okay. So they've given us the map here to tell us where to go, I guess. Looking cool. Oh, oh hello, sir. How are you? We're just uh, on a mission. We're doing uh, some LARPing. Ooh, a scroll. Hello. Scroll of healing. Restores you and your allies to full health. Removes all negative status effects. Poison, stun, etc. May only be used once. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. Don't worry, Ethan. I am looking all around everywhere, so I'm hoping to find some more. But I guess we need to go this way. Let's head on over. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. I think we have to fight it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing <laughs> okay alex helton ethan helton okay uh ethan attack with burning blade burning blade one damage <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns and alex will use magic first Distortion field. Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ah, my ears are ringing. All right, so now we're gonna use untuned cord. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <sighs> And then we're gonna have Ethan use magic and use Shield of Courage. Shield of Courage! <sighs> Protected by Shield of Courage! Ah! I'm still on fire! <sighs> we did it! Loot! I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. New skill acquired. Warrior class. Skill fire blast. Type magic. Three damage to enemies and one damage to allies. May be used once per battle only. Let's keep going. We defeated the wolf. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. All right, so we got a message here from... I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. Riley? Uh, okay, so... Hey, girl, thanks for the drink. Great to unwind with you. You got it. Let's do it again. Okay. Hey, I made Ryan tell me what this USB is for. He was being super vague for my own protection. Oh. Don't worry. I'm going to try my best to get you access. OMG. No guarantees. Depends on how good the password is. Thank you so much for even trying. We weren't sure if you would. Well, you deserve the truth. Hyphen's obviously hiding something. Max still scared to death of them. Anyway, I'll be at the shop if you need anything. I really appreciate it. All right, and we have another one here. The dire wolf. Ooh, the dire wolf is dead. And the serpent is coming into play. All right, so we have Ryan here. I thought Alex might have liked me, but no way I can compete with Steph. Competing? Like, for me? That's... Wow. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. But I wanted to. And why, Ryan, why are you saying that? I literally picked you. I didn't mean to pick Steph. I thought the distraction meant that I was going to have time with you. Not Steph. Ugh. 
You guys stop competing. All right. So we've done this, and uh, we're, it's time to move on. But we're not moving on now. We're going to move on to the next episode. We're going to continue on with our LARPing adventures um, next time, because we've gone a little bit over time, and I really need to stop going over time so much. But it's just so fun. I just can't stop playing. Uh, so I'm going to end up the episode, the episode off here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one where we continue our LARPing adventures.